remember when you were a little kid? Getting excited for the start of school? Now imagine if you didn't have that opportunity. Instead, you were told you can't go to school. You watched your friends get ready for their big day while you sat on the sideline. It seems crazy to even think this could be a possibility, but that was the reality for so many people in the past, and it still is for some today, all because of their gender. They were girls, not boys. And going to school wasn't the only thing that girls weren't allowed to do. Throughout history, girls and women have stood up for their right of equality. So many women have done amazing things and broken down social and political barriers, helping other women gain some kind of quality. But we are not there yet. These pioneering women inspired future generations and changed the perspective of the position of women. Consider Joan of Arc, Florence Nightingale, and Mary Pankhurst, three famous women who literally changed the world. However, not every woman who influences generations becomes famous or well-known. Does that make their achievements any less important? Of course not. Many lesser known women pushed boundaries and made changes through their actions, their words, and their passions. These changes benefited their communities or even the world around them. Mary Lee, an activist for voting rights in the 19th century in South Australia. She passionately believed that women must have the right to vote. She was determined to break down this barrier in Australia and succeeded in 1896 when South Australia introduced voting rights for women. These were some of the first voting rights in the world. By helping her community, Mary Lee changed many others around the globe. She gave women a voice and an opportunity to contribute to shaping their societies. Dame Annabel Jane Mary Rankin was a local woman who grew up in our own Fraser Coast region, Queensland's first woman in parliament and Australia's second female senator. She believed that women must have a fair say in government and made it very clear. She was an effective ambassador for women during the difficult post-war years. But you don't have to be all grown up to make a difference. Take Malala Yousafzai. She was 11 years old when she started protesting for women's and children's right to gain an education in Pakistan. Under the Taliban rule, women were banned from gaining an education and other social activities. Malala spoke up and survived an attempted assassination by the Taliban when she was shot in the head. Thanks to her efforts, girls in her area were allowed to go to school. She even won a Nobel Peace Prize for her fight for equal education opportunities for girls. Although these women are not very well known, they have shown the world that women are as capable, opinionated, intelligent, talented and determined as men. But what about women who make a difference for you and me in everyday life? Women we look up to or actually rely on. My great-grandmother, Theresia, is one of these women. She was a child of war, born in 1910 in Germany, four years before World War I, and married during World War II. Her life during the Second World War was very difficult. In a short period of time, she not only lost her husband and brother to war, but her daughter died as an infant. During the Second World War, she was living on her husband Ludwig's parents' farm, the farm Ludwig would have inherited had he survived the war. Ludwig had an unmarried brother and sister living on the farm, which was custom. So it was suggested that Theresia should marry her late husband's brother, Antonius 
This was considered a good outcome. He needed a wife and she apparently needed a husband and provider. And the farm would stay in the family. She said no. Teresia decided to leave with her son, my grandfather, to live on her father's farm instead. Again, she faced a problem of security. One of her three brothers was going to claim the farm after he returned from the war, giving his siblings a payout. However, Teresia convinced her father to let her claim the farm. He asserted it was too much for a woman and that she could not handle it. But she did. She paid her five siblings their share, almost sending her broke. She ran until the mid-1960s on her own, then afterwards jointly with her son, my grandfather. Not only did she run a successful farm, but she also started a very profitable fertiliser and agricultural business, which was rare and hard to find at the time. Times changed, and when financial hardship forced my mum's mother to work for the army, Teresia stepped in to take care of my mum while my grandfather continued to work on the farm. She taught my mum to be strong and independent and shaped my mum's world and perspective. Although I was not fortunate enough to meet Teresia, she still has presence in our family. My mum continues to remind us to be strong and independent and that we can achieve anything we set our minds to. Approach everything in life with an I can do this attitude. Do not be discouraged by anyone or anything. Do not put up with any kind of inequality. Not for yourself and not for others. Everyone has the same rights. So, what are you going to do to shape a better world for us all?